In today's video, we will discuss burn down charts in Microsoft Project and how do you create a task and a work burn down chart using Microsoft Project. Before we get to preparing a burn down chart report, a burn down chart shows the amount of work that has been completed in an epic or sprint. Besides that, it shows the total work remaining. Burn down charts are used to predict your team's likelihood of completing their work in time available. So this is what our burn down charts about. The burn down charts are usually used by agile projects, but you can use it in predictive life cycle projects as well. Make sure that some tasks on your project are partially or fully completed. And besides that, make sure that you have an actual cost and a baseline cost updated for your project schedule. In the video for the earned value report, we made some updates to our project schedule. For example, we changed the actual start date of activity survey to 27th of May instead of the planned date which was 26th of May. Besides that, the planned date for the design was 31st May, but we moved it to 2nd of June. And in the meantime, there were some costs planned for each activity. For example, for the survey, the baseline cost was $400, and the actual cost that we spent on this activity was $1,000. If you were interested, you can go and watch the Earned Value Report project and the MS Project playlist of this YouTube channel. You should ensure that such changes are made so that a proper burndown chart is created to you by the tool, the MS Project. Now once all this setting is done, you go to Report and from there we will go to Dashboard and click Burn Down. Once you click the Burn Down, it will show you two charts. One is for the Work Burn Down, another is for the Task Burn Down. And in here, the orange color is the remaining cumulative actual work. The blue line is remaining cumulative work and the gray line is baseline remaining cumulative work. So in total, we have 300 hours of work and it is planned as per the baseline to decline this way. Moreover, for the task burn down, the total planned tasks are given here and they are going to decline and be completed in this pattern. Moreover, if you click on any of these lines, the chart data will be shown on the right here. From here, you can modify your x-axis and y-axis, for example, for this one, if I select time, I click date, and from here, I will select days and click OK. As you can see, it will be given in further detail. The same could be done for this one as well. In the last stage, if you want to copy this to any other platform through which you are going to prepare your dashboard, you can just click on the chart and press Ctrl C and then take it to any other software that you want. I hope you liked the content of the video. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thank you very much for watching.